Well, I spent like 15 minutes crocheting and we're spending an hour undoing my yarn ball. <laughs> Montana Dana and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I try my solar shower for the first time, have a stitch and bitch session with my mom, and it's my first time making macrame. Subscribe for Monday through Friday videos. Good morning from Livingston, Montana. Definitely slept in this morning. It's like 9 a.m. Oh, look at this pretty view in the morning. Hello, Montana. Oh my god, the weather is perfect today. It was all smoky. You can even see the mountains, but it stormed last night and now it's all clear and pretty. This is the Montana we love. There's six days a year where Montana has perfect weather, and today is one of them. Oh, just kidding. The wind is blowing. Of course. Of course it is. We couldn't possibly have a perfect day of weather. No, I've just been spoiled because I lived in LA and I lived in St. George, Utah, and there's like pretty much perfect weather year round there. Yeah, Montana, I don't know. I don't know about you. If I had a genie and a bottle baby and I had three wishes, my first wish would to be the perfect temperature at all times. A million dollars? I don't need you as much as I need to be the perfect temperature at all times. So this is my morning. I see a bunch of pretty wildflowers over there. Little sunflower things. I'm gonna go scope it out. The wind is literally rocking my van back and forth. If this van's a rockin'. We're probably back in Livingston, Montana. Anyway, it's gonna be a good day. I need to go find a coffee shop to upload because I'm not sitting here out in the boonies for three and a half hours. I did all my laundry yesterday. We're gonna whip out the shop back and clean in here, get everything set because I'm hitting the road soon. Still trying to decide if I'm gonna go to Oregon or if I'm gonna go, oh, maybe we need to go to Canada or to the Colorado area. It's all gonna depend on the weather, so we'll see. One day at a time one day at a time. I'm also going to, for the first time, try my outdoor shower today. Like might as well from the comfort of my dad's home. And if all else fails, I'll just run inside and take a shower. That's my day today. Thank you for joining me. I don't know if you guys saw my family get together vlogs, but we were playing this game and it is so freaking fun. I ordered it off Amazon. You guys should go get it. It's hilarious. I just don't know where I'm going to store it might be kind of a front seat type of adventure. My front seat is basically my junk drawer. Stuff I don't know what to do with, I throw it up there. Clean clothes, I don't wanna fold you. We'll just put you under this black fabric. Beautiful. Emergency pee cups in the corner over there. Today, I'm gonna go buy some macrame strings. I wanna try and make something for this that doesn't allow it to fall out the back because it keeps falling out. And I love this little thing, but I need to design one specifically for this little geode over here. But yeah, I cleaned quite a bit out yesterday. I see the vacuum. You guys are gonna be so proud of me. I ordered some putty off of Amazon to stick all these to the keyboard. But I'm gonna take everything off, vacuum, get it so fresh and so clean clean. Ooh, hello friends. Aren't you pretty today? Um, we may do a little repaint of the piano session soon. Look what Jan gave me. These are like little solar powered fairy lights. How cute is that? Especially if my Jackery decides to go and die on me. I'll we'll always have some cute little fairy lights. So here are all my stones, but in here, I used to have my rose quartz, which was my love stone, and I cannot find it. This thing fell over and broke. I super glued it back together, but the love stone is nowhere to be found. I lost my love stone. How representative of my life is that? Shit, that's a bad omen. Love stone? Love stone, are you back here? You can't be keeping your love stone back here with a toilet paper. That's just bad luck. Love stone, did you fall down in the crevice? Seriously, how can I not find it? It's a rock like this big. I don't know, hopefully we can find our love stone. We might need to get a new one. What is this? Oh my God, I have to show you. Did I show you? I don't know if I showed you, but my aunt Linda makes the best card. She makes custom cards for like every occasion. This is my birthday card this year. Dana, you make a living in a van down by the river. Look good. <laughs> how cute is that? Isn't that cute? I think I showed you that in yesterday's video, but that's gonna go right up there with the grams and the gramps. Love stone, are you in my junk drawer, love stone? I always hear things like crash and burn. I'll bet you it fell down there or something. I don't know where it's at. How cute does this look next to this vase though? And then it had that little stone in it, super cute. But I'm gonna put some of the putty under here to hold this in place. And then hopefully I won't lose my gems anymore. All right, now I'm just stalling, let's go. My friend Renee got me this outdoor shower. Very excited to try it. <laughs> Well, 
I'm gonna go set this outside. Oh, no. Okay, that's locked. Oh God, I feel like it's, this is gonna pop off the bottom. It's just gonna spray everywhere. Do we just leave this out in the sun, I guess? Oh no, it's leaking. Why are you leaking? Do we need to set it up like this? I don't know where I'm going to put this because it's very heavy. I thought I was just gonna do like a commando strip hook. I don't know how to van life. I'm sorry, I don't know how. I'll leave that out in the sun. I guess we'll hang this from my door. And then I got this little thing, which suction cups to the side of the van that I can put the spigot in. I don't know. Welcome to my shit show shower adventure. I'll put that there for now. And here's the trusty old shop vac. We need this guy. I'm gonna clean out every inch of the van and hopefully find my rose quartz because I need some good relationship juju. Okay. All, right. All right, we're gonna clean the van, but first I need a damn cup of coffee. I can't do this shit without another cup of coffee in the system. Oh, oh we're still going. We're still, we're still going? I thought you was done, girl. You must have had some extra liquid right before that. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, you good? Can I, can I have my coffee in there? Ah, okay, now I'm ready. All right, if I were an extension cable, where would I be? That's a hose for the generator. By the way, I don't know what Targets and Walmarts y'all live next to that carries this stuff. This, this is the mounting putty for all my crystals. Y'all were telling me to go to a craft store or to Target to find this stuff, but I had to go to the deep dark web to find mounting putty, people. The deep dark web. Just kidding. I'm being dramatic. I went to Amazon and found it lickety split, but just saying this shit is hard to find. Um, my extension cable. Can you please make your whereabouts be known? Oh, it's right here in front of my face the whole time. Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. Come on. All righty. Is that broken? That looks broken. Guess we about to find out. <laughs> All right, we need to move the van a little closer to the house as to reach the extension cable. My key is in the back seat and my van does not turn on when my key is in the back seat. That is something that I know. It's right, it's right here. The key is right here. Why won't you turn on? It's right here. And we're back. Okay, I have all sorts of crystals and a coffee back there. So we are going to go very, very slow. We just need to move about 10 feet closer. We should be good. Are we good, kids? we got this was a poor choice uh, all right okay making all sorts of poor choices just a psa my grandpa said that these sprinter vans often have like a glitch with the parking system i don't know if it's mine specifically because it's a 2020 but he said with the older ones like you put it in park oh shit i need to fix this situation you put it in park and it's not actually in park and we have some like getaway vans literally so just so you know be aware <laughs> All of my personal secrets just lost under my couch. We're making progress. All right, we're all fastened up. No more sliding around the piano and breaking. This one's my favorite. How pretty is that? And this and that. I think I'm digging the purples, but I love this one too. This one has like just as pretty of a bottom as it does the top. I love this little putty stuff. It's perfect. Got my little Sedona heart rock fastened on there. It's so pretty. Look how much of that I used <laughs> just for my gems. And then I have these little guys too. So you guys know Jan. Well, her sister makes these. They're so awesome. I'll leave a link to her Instagram down in the description. But I want to put these somewhere special in the van. Aren't these so beautiful? How do you even make this? I don't get it. So pretty. I wanted to put them on top of my piano here, but when I open it, I don't know. I don't trust that. This stuff's a little dangerous though, because now I want gems all over my desk. Just a full gem desk. That too much? That might be too much. Look how pretty this one is. This one I got from Target. No joke. It's so freaking beautiful. This one I just had this intense Velcro underneath, so maybe I'll swap it out for the putty because it slides everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, it's so nice and clean in here. My rugs are fuzzy. Oh my god, it feels good. My front seat is clean. Oh, I didn't vacuum this side. This fly. You're gonna die, fly. I need to vacuum this. 
side. Whoops, not all clean, just kidding. All right, let's check out the solar shower situation. Looks like we got a little drippy pipply happening. Maybe I filled it up too much, but there, there. We'll see how this goes. I got my swimmies on. We're gonna go out and test out this solar shower. I'm also trying to shave my legs for the sake of a video, so we'll see how that goes. But a big thank you to Renee Nelson for sending me the solar shower. Thank you, girl, I'm so excited to try it out. Let's do this. Okay, so solar shower worked. Phenom, loved it. Don't know if I'll shave my legs again with the solar shower. I need to wash the pits and all the bits. So I'm gonna take a bath, really shave my legs, and just start fresh for the week. Oh shoot, I forgot about all my laundry. All right, well, today is a clean and get ready for the road type of day, I suppose. Heading into the big city, AKA Bozeman, Montana. I have to get some Velcro. I'm heading over to my mom's. We're gonna do a stitch and bitch. I'm gonna make a few things for the van, so I need to get some Velcro, blackout curtains, and some macrame. Like I said earlier, I I want to make a specific macrame for that geode and I just want to try and make some macrame decorations in general maybe I'll sell them maybe I'll give them away as gifts Lord knows I ain't got any more room in here for that I want to make something like this but for the back but make it like curtains you know what I mean go big or go home you know maybe that's too big of a first project but I like to go balls out do it a couple times and then move on to the next that's just my personality it's not my fault I have an August 8th birthday and that's what it says in my astrology book okay I do want to check out these wild sunflowers right here Maybe get a picture of Mac in the background. How pretty are these guys? Hello, friends. Maybe I'll take a picture of this one. Hello, snakes. Excuse me, I just trying to get a picture for the gram. Like how cute would this be with this little flower? I think I already actually have that picture somewhere, but we're gonna do it. All right, got some photos. Did any of those turn out? Follow me on Instagram. If you'd like to see some mediocre photography, there's plenty of that on my page. I'm gonna get rid of these. I put these little command strip things all over my windows so I could put up those silver reflector things. I can't think of what they're called right now. I'm a little brain dead at the moment. You know what I'm talking about. The silver things that go in your windows that make you look like you own a lot of cats and you're afraid of the apocalypse. Those things. You know what they are. Those things that like ax murderers put in the windows of their homes as to detract aliens. It's that stuff. Since it's really ugly at night to have all that shininess, I'm gonna put fabric on the inside of it, put Velcro on the fabric, and then put soft Velcro around the van so that I can hang the reflectix. And it'll just make me feel like I have a little more space in the van. I used to hang my blackout curtains right there, but I kind of like the idea of having them up here. How beautiful is that view by the way but if I'm in the city and I'm trying to be stealthy and make it look like no one's living in here like when you have the reflectix in your window it's pretty obvious it's like a camper van but I literally have never stealth camped in the city not once maybe that's a bucket list thing for this trip are we ready no we're not ready we thought we were ready but we were not ready is this latched yes actually impressed but this is up and this is up this thing okay you guys know what a pain in the latch this used to be <laughs> I can't even tell you how happy I am with this little system. The fact that it closes on its own is key. I haven't had one issue with that since I got the latch put on there. Obviously I need more macrame in my vehicle. Let's go. I don't even know what macrame string looks like. I do kind of want to get a crochet hook and some yarn. Montana sunset tonight. It is like 360 cotton candy skies. So pretty. I just finished editing and it took me so long. It is now 9 o'clock p.m. that I am not going to stitch and bitch with my mom until tomorrow, but I'm going to insert that footage here just so it all kind of commingles, coagulates, just so it's all cohesive, you know? But holy ass, this sunset! <laughs> Too sweaty to sleep. It is triple digits and my boobies are sweating. Not a fan. This is a fan, but I am not a fan. How cute is this little hat, by the way? My gosh. Guess we'll just take more Instagram photos instead of a nap. But I mean, the view ain't bad. I'm heading to hang out with my mom. I just spent all my birthday money on a bunch of yarn. I'm going to crochet a couple cute tops. And by a couple, I mean like 11. By the amount of yarn I got, I couldn't decide what colors. So I just got them all. Every color of the rainbow. My mom is a phenomenal seamstress. She's really good at quilting. Like really, really, really good. It's it's not necessarily my thing, but I need some mother-daughter time, and I like to crochet. And what I mean by I like to crochet is I made a beanie once in high school. I really want to learn how to knit, because I want to make a cable knit sweater and a cable knit um, afghan. 
think is what they're called. I call it a blanket. So we're gonna go stitch it and bitch it. I asked my mom what movie she wanted me to get and she chose Anna Green Gables. I wore my puff sleeves just for the occasion. If you've seen Anna Green Gables, you appreciate the puff sleeves. I'll introduce you to my mom and I'll show you all my goodies. I started a little bralette. Very excited about it. We're making some stir fry with her neighbor's veggies. All sorts of veggies. Diane, so Diane. So let us walk right into the forest, to the trees and the rising sun. It is something we can't outrun. Well, I spent like 15 minutes crocheting and we're spending an hour undoing my yarn ball. I have a little cup for a bralette thing. Cute. What are you stitching and bitching? I'm making it tail runner. Let me say it. It's a beige table runner. It's supposed to be Christmas colors, but it's beige. Lovely. You know I like beige. Yeah. Table runners and string messes. This reminds me of like a Sesame Street character. Anybody else? Gonna try and make a cute little crocheted top so we'll see um how many lines of Anne of Green Gables have I quoted everyone <laughs> yeah everyone pretty much yeah I didn't realize how many times I watched this movie growing up we're just stitching and bitching this morning my mom's like what kind of music do you want to listen to I said death metal so you ever stitch and bitch to, to death metal because <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't know if you were sensing my sarcasm, but. Guys, check out my macrame wall hanging I made. Oh my gosh, so much fun. I followed a pattern from YouTube, but kind of put my own spin on it. So I used thicker cord on the sides, medium cord in the middle, and then I added these little fringe things. And they are fringe-tastic, let me tell you. I don't really know where I'm gonna put it. Maybe I'll give it to my mom. But how cute is this? If you made it this far in the video, write stitching bitch down in the comments. And that's it for today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. 